Good morning. I would like to brief out on the term food and nutrition. Although it sounds synonymous, they are the two ends of the spectrum. Food. It's anything that you eat or drink. It is as per the total energy requirement and the bodily requirement. And of course the functioning of the body is purely dependent on the food that you take in. They are classified into three different categories. Energy eating foods, body building foods and protective foods. Yeah. Energy yielding foods are those that are involved for external and the internal activities. External activities are those that is meant for physical activities and internal activities are all that is concerned to digestion of food, absorption, assimilation, utilization and excretion of food. Involuntary functions here. Yeah. They are regulated by basal metabolic rate. This may increase or decrease. So invariably proportional to the food that you take in. Examples of energy yielding foods are cereals, sugar, jaggery and tubers. Next, it's the bodybuilding foods here. The whole body is made up of cells. Cells grouped together forms tissues. Tissues makes organ and organ, organ systems. This is how the whole body, the structure of the body is dependent on the food that you take in. Examples of bodybuilding foods are lentils, legumes, pulses, milk, egg and fleshy foods. The third one, protective foods. Protective foods are those that prevent the body from various ailments and disease conditions. They are known as the accessory nutrients which helps in the breakdown of the energy foods here. Examples of protective foods are fruits and vegetables. All these foods have certain amount of nutrients. These nutrients are the one which bridges the gap between the food and nutrition. Nutrients are the chemical substances like carbs, proteins, fats which are known as macronutrients which gives out the energy in bulk. Micronutrients are those that are found in vitamins and minerals which are accessory nutrients which helps in the breakdown of these energy foods. foods. The last one is the water which helps in the transportation of these nutrients. Nutrition is a process in which the food is being taken and its nutrients are absorbed and distributed to various tissues of the body to perform their metabolic activities. So when these uh, nutrients are present in required proportion, it's said to be optimum nutrition. So when there is an excess of any one or more of these nutrients said to be over nutrition, any lacuna of one or more of these nutrients is said to be under nutrition. Overnutrition results in disease condition, undernutrition results in deficiency disorders.